Hello folks and welcome. So Linux Mint 21.2 Cinnamon. A couple of three weeks ago I presented a video on how to program Logitech products using Solar. So I have a new video for you today regarding the same concept that uh, maybe you are trying out the new Bolt devices. Uh, these are uh, the secure devices from Logitech that are a little bit uh, they, they have a faster response, they say, and also uh, better security. So I'm going to talk about the application you can use in Linux for these things. So if you buy, you can also buy these blank and you can program them yourself. And I have the tool for it right here. So I will close the welcome screen. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. You're watching this on Linux for Seniors. You can subscribe if you'd like to. All right, so the Bolt receiver, um, I have an MX Keys keyboard and a MX uh, Master 3S mouse. These mice are the type that actually you can operate them on a clear surface like glass. They're kind of cool. But uh, they normally don't work with a unifying receiver. I have also those in here. So you can use Solar to program both of these. Now, where do you get the application? You get it from the software manager. As soon as you open that thing up, just type in S O L double A R Solar. And you can install that. It's a system package and it should be fairly quick to install. The screenshot is not the same, but nonetheless, Solar, two A's. Now, when you are using these um, bolt receivers, and uh, here's a comparison. So, um, I guess I closed that too early. So Logitech Unifying looks like this. They have a orange looking logo and the Bolt receiver. I will just change the name here. Sorry, I thought I had this open, sorry. Okay. And they, they have this uh, yellow looking Bolt logo on them. All right, now I'll get rid of this. Anyways, when you program these things, um, normally they come blank. If you're buying an MX device, for instance, from Logitech, you normally get one of these. The keyboard itself has three positions. In other words, you can operate three different units, but it only comes with one bolt receiver. That's why I'm talking about this video. So if you want to program this yourself, you can, and you can do it right out of Linux. I actually programmed this in Linux and used it on a Microsoft Windows 11 machine. I made another one of these using the same set, keyboard and mice. And all you need to do is really, once you get the system up and going, let's say you're using Mint, um, you just walk in there and you can unpair the existing and then you can pair a new device up to six. Usually you don't pair more than mice and keyboards, but anyways, I'm using a combination of that bolt receiver with two devices and you can see the battery information here. So both of these devices offer one of these new type of charging uh, ports. They are USB-C and they charge the ba uh, rechargeable batteries. But the bolt receivers are different from the unified, but the solar application can handle both of these. In other words, for programming. My suggestion and tip is when you do program these, use a different mouse. Okay, so whether it's wired or wireless, use a different mouse. And then when you open up the application, normally you don't need to type anything, then you would put these keyboards into pairing mode. And then you would pair them. And the MX devices usually require you to enter a, a key code on your keyboard. The mouse requires you to activate the left and the right um, mouse clicks in combination sets. To make them match because they're they're more secure devices according to logic tech than the unifying receivers but you can use the solar tool to program these that's all i had to say today thank you for watching